Determine a second degree polynomial function that satisfies the given conditions. f of three equals five, f prime of three equals three, and f double prime of three equals six. A second degree polynomial function is a quadratic function. We will find the quadratic function in general form, which is the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So beginning with the general form of a quadratic function, let's now determine f prime of x and f double prime of x. To determine f prime of x, we differentiate ax squared plus bx plus c with respect to x, treating a, b, and c as constants. The derivative of ax squared with respect to x is a times 2x or 2ax plus the derivative of bx with respect to x, which is b times one or b, plus the derivative of c with respect to x, which is zero, because c is a constant. And now to find f double prime of x, we differentiate two ax plus b with respect to x, treating a and b as constants. The derivative of two ax with respect to x is two a times one or two a, plus the derivative of b with respect to x, which is zero. So from here, we know f of three must equal five, and therefore if we substitute three for x, the function value must be five. This indicates that a times the square of three plus b times three plus c must equal five. And since f prime of three equals three, if we substitute three for x in two ax plus b, the function value must be three, which indicates that two a times three plus b must equal three. And then finally, since f double prime of three equals six, if we substitute three for x and two a, the function value must be six, and since there's no x to substitute for, this indicates that two a must equal six. And now we need to solve this as a system of equations, but notice how this third equation only contains one variable. We can easily solve for a by dividing both sides by two, giving us a equals six divided by two or three. So now that we know the value of a, we need to work on determining the value of b and the value of c. So what we'll do now is substitute three for a in the first and second equations. Substituting three for a in the first equation, we have three times the square of three plus three b plus c must equal five. And substituting three for a in the second equation, we have two times three times three plus b equals three. Now here, notice how the second equation only contains b, so now we'll solve the second equation for b. Two times three times three is 18, giving us 18 plus b equals three, subtracting 18 on both sides. We have b equals negative 15. Well, now that we know b is equal to negative 15, we can substitute negative 15 for b in this first equation and then solve for c. Well, first three times the square root of three is 27. So we have 27 and then plus three times b, but we now know b is negative 15 plus c must equal five. Notice now this equation only contains c, so we will now solve for c. This gives us 27 plus negative 45 plus c equals five. 27 plus negative 45 is negative 18. Adding 18 to both sides, we have c equals 23. Now that we know the values of a, b, and c, we know a second degree polynomial function that satisfies the given conditions is f of x equals three x squared minus 15 x plus 23. I hope you found this helpful.